how are you able to move yourself on this wheelchair? I got a from people. Okay. Because it's not this easy. It's not the manual wheelchair. It's not the manual wheelchair. Yeah. Oh, so it's not easy for you to move yourself. Yes, unless I get a strong from people. Despite the weird and harsh conditions that many people live in in Nigeria, some have been able to rise above, above the situation and do something meaningful with their lives. We met Toma Uno, a young lady in her 30s with special needs. She is an artist who draws with her legs. On this episode of Faces of Nigeria on Legit.ng, we'll be finding out how she's been able to cope over the years and what she's been doing over the period of time. I'm Timito Kokopola Olaya. So Toma, tell us more about yourself. My name is Toma Uno. Um, I'm, a, I'm an artist. Okay. I paint with my name. Uh, I'm from Delta State. I'm from Delta State. I'm the last one of my parents. Both mom and dad, they are gone. I thank God I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a good way to, to live. That's a good way to live. So, um, what's this um, situation? Um, what's this condition that you live in or live with? It's called cerebral palsy. Okay. Were you born with it? Yes. Mm. And how have you been coping with it? Through the grace of God, I'm recovering with it. And thank God that there is still life. Mm. Though it's not easy. Work. But it's great to be living with it. Mm. And we are making the best out of it. Mm. How did you find yourself in Lagos State? I came to Lagos State to a friend of my dad. His name is. His name is Yeniko. Yeniko. Is one of the child of the school. Yeah. So he's a friend to my dad. When the sickness started, daddy spoke. Daddy talked about his dad. He said that we could come together and find a solution to it. Mm. Yeah. So how did that go? When I came to the door, uh, <laughs> actually, <laughs> It was a great experience. Okay. It was a great experience. What I say to you that, you know, we were hoping to see the best solution as in to stand up on the wheelchair. But God knows the best. And thank God, we are still living with it. And a lot of people are still there to make us smile mm. and to appreciate what we do with our little challenge. How has life been as an orphan? Actually, I just lost my, my mom like a year, a year now. We clocked the year this year. I lost my mom. I lost my dad since 1993. You know, God, God is the father for the fatherless and the mother for the fatherless. He is making even the sister. No, it's not easy what we are cooking. Your paintings, how did you come about painting? Who introduced you? Did, did you learn how to paint somewhere or, or was this something that was revealed to you in some dream? I got to some years back. A brother friend of mine, her name is Sister Zilia. She's, she's from India. Mm -hmm. So by this beautiful day, she came around our 90s. She saw me feeding the children with my life. She was very, very nice surprised and wow. she said, she said, wow, but why can't you try to do something else apart from feeding the children with your life? I also feed myself with that. Wow. So she was the one that introduced me to painting. How do you feel when you see other children doing normal things and here you are? Everybody is normal. 
It depends on your thinking. Mm. It depends on your thinking. There is a lot of things that you can do that I cannot do. There is a lot of things that I can do and you cannot do. So I see myself as a normal person. Mm. I don't allow my disability to be me. Mm. Because I believe that God is the, is the creator of the universe and he makes everything beautiful. Mm. So since I'm with uh, I'm a child of God, I'm one of his image and likeness, so I'm okay. Okay. You have makeup on. How did you get that on your face? Uh, I, <laughs> I have some little angels with me that do makeup on. Bless them. <laughs> so you just, um, you tell them to use what color, what color, yes. uh, how do you go about that? I, like I said, I have some little angels and I have some mommies with me. If the mommies are not available, I will go to the children to make up for me. And um, dressing up every day, how do you go about that? Thank God for where I'm um, Modoku. Yes, it's Modoku fine. Modoku has been the backbone of my life. Hmm. Number one is God, number two is Modoku. What kind of paintings um, do, do you, what inspires your, your type of painting? Um, I love nature and my painting are based on landscape painting. Hmm. So that's what I do. And uh, have you been able to make money from selling your, your hard work? Yes, yes. How do you go about marketing them? You know, due to where I live, this does come in or not. I go for social media. Hmm. I also put it on social media. So you are on social media? Yes. I can find you on Instagram? Yes. Wow. So you also get to put your, your work yes. there. That means you, you've made quite a lot from that. <laughs> what are you doing to, to give back to the society? What way do you want to give back to the society? I try to enjoy people with special needs because, because life is not easy and we don't have to be useless. Let me to create because I can use that way. And we don't have to be so used that we are not among us. We have to try to bring us something out of the little things that we have by telling people that we are not useless. We can still make, we can still make living. We can still tell the world that we are, we are used to in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of people with disability who are doctors, who are bankers, who are artists. So we can still make it. Um, I, how are you able to move yourself on this wheelchair? I thought there some people. Okay. Because it's not this easy. It's not the manner of which it is. It's not the manner of which it is. Yeah. Oh, so it's not easy for you to move yourself. Yes, unless I get that much. Oh, there, there are some that you could actually. Yes. Oh, it would be nice for you to have that. Yes, yes. Uh, maybe someday someone could just come to your help with that. Yes, I think so. I think so. Is that all you need for now? What else? What else is on your wish list? The number two is to change the environment. Because change the environment. I've been a long time here. Uh, this is my 28 years of living in this place. So I, I wish to get up. Mm. Okay.